Hi Jason, nice to see you this morning. Just want to go over a couple of points we discussed during today's session. First one really was uh, regarding your posture. Um, just uh, as we mentioned, the, the, your weight was um, sort of back on the heels a little bit and you just look like you're crouching over or just hunching your back up um, a little bit too much. Uh, with your irons, because of that position, you got a little bit too close to the ball. Um, and also when you swung the club, um, you just didn't quite have the same room that you needed to to swing the, swing the golf club past your body. Uh, with your driver there, standing much further away from it, got much more space between your hands and the body, which is going to allow you to swing that golf club much more freely um, past your body and through the hitting area. But again, just touching on that posture position, there you've got your, your heart, the arch there in your back, um, and again, in the more upright position, which is just, just going to affect that body turn um, and the golf swing itself. I know you said you had a, a sore back, but it's something to look at um, in the future, just um, what that, the correct posture will allow you to rotate your body, turn your shoulders a little bit more consistently during that golf swing. So ideally, we want a more of a straighter position there with your back, um, nice knee flex, and again, with the weight looking like it's more on the balls of your feet. A little bit like, little bit like David Tomsey on the right hand side. So he's got a nice straight his back, um, and then just slide knee flex there with his. He looks like he's in a much better posture. He's waiting more over the balls of his feet, ready to make a good consistent swing on the golf golf club um, to hit a nice consistent shot. So um, that's just something to look at in the future. And say I know you had a toe back today, and you felt a little bit of discomfort when you bent over a little bit further. But again, something to look at. Um, the next thing we had a, a quick look at was the um, alignment. Now, there you're aiming yourself fairly square to the target. Um, so the target was uh, the 200 yard marker, um, just over here there on the left hand side. Um, so there you're aiming fairly square to that target. Now, what we found is when you're hitting the shots, the ball was starting in that general direction and then drawing off to the left hand side. So what we got you to do was to play with that draw and use that draw to your advantage. So uh, what we needed you to do uh, a little bit later on was to actually aim yourself a little bit to the right of the target just to encourage the ball to start to the right hand side and then we can use the, the, the draw spin to bring that golf ball back onto the target rather than turning um, a little bit too much to the left. So aiming your body a little bit more to the right of your target, swinging the club um, nicely down the same swing path as you do. Um, so you're bringing the club lovely um, there on the inside. Got good rotation in your forearms, which again is just going to make sure that the club face is closed in relation to your swing path. Your alignment is going to make sure that your club face is aiming uh, to the right of your target to ensure the ball starts to the right of your target. Um, but just making sure that you've got the correct rotation to your club face um, is close to that swing path to make sure that the draw um, spin is, is added to the golf ball to make that golf ball come back to your target. So, bear the same in yourself to the right. Keep the rotation of your forearms coming through impact just to make sure you're adding the draw spin. Uh, if you've got any problems with it, just give me a call. Um, but good luck with it and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.